Hi everyone, you're right. Hope everything's okay. Yeah, I've been. I didn't go out today, um, because it's just too bloody cold. And uh, yeah, it was as I said, it was just too cold. And uh, I was going to do some filming around Blackburn. But, uh, yeah. Um, what? I just watched um, a video about some of the construction work in Manchester. And the amount of um, apartment blocks going up. What most people don't realise with these high rises is that the amount of space that they use is the footprint that they have. A lot of people tell me, oh, I don't like, li I wouldn't like to live in such a development. But what it is, developments like that, everybody knows. What I think, and you know what I'm going to say. It preserves green belt land, and a lot of the places that they're proposed to put these uh, developments are on. Brownfield sites and in some cases car parks you know and X1 is going to be one of the uh, is going to be one of the biggest tower blocks that there's going to be it's going to be big, bigger than the Beethoven Tower and yeah I really do think it's about time a lot of councils um, basically um, wake up because A lot of places are going to need homes. The way things are going at this moment in time. Everybody knows what's going on in Ukraine. And all that. So. People need places to live. If, you know, if they're escaping from conflict and all that at the end of the day people have to be housed people have to be fed etc but you know if you just turn around and put houses all over the place you know you'd soon run out of land and I really do think a lot of town planners, right? Certain councils I will not mention round here, especially the council that I live in. In a lot of the cases, they think that vertical living is uh, not for them. But sorry, folks. 
wakey wakey time right there is only so much grit brown brown space we have to create as much green space as we can and vertical living is one of those things for doing that you know and in a lot of cases a lot of councils have a backward have you know backward thinking about uh, high rise because the technology is completely totally um improved since the Grenfell fire, fire incident and stuff and that wouldn't have happened if it if it uh you know we wouldn't have known about it due to that person's electrical appliance being faulty. You know? And, you know, we would have had uh, other instances of it. Um, you know, lessons were learnt with that. And, as I said, we live on an island, right? We only have so much space to build on. And a lot of councils, like the one up the road, this one that I live in, and the next one further up, just do not get it. They just do not get it at all. If you're going to solve a problem like the housing crisis, you know, if you're going to solve it, you know, this is the only major way you're going to do it. Because you'll need land to grow, grow, you know, to grow crops and stuff. And people were saying, like, um, gas and electricity prices and stuff. Well, high rise, hi, like, you know, high rise can, you know, cut that down, you know. Because... You know what happens, don't you? Heat rises. And you wouldn't have to, you know, spend as much on energy. And people say to me, oh, I don't like high rise and all that sort of stuff. But I'm sorry, folks. It's the way that things are going to have to go. It's like what I said before, earlier on in this video, you know, it's the only way to go. Yes, it may look a bit samey, samey, but the architects can design um, the buildings to look different. You know, so am I right or am I wrong in 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 my opinion? You know, so leave your suggestions in the suggest in the suggestions and down below, and tell me what you think, because I really do feel that some councils haven't learnt the lessons from the 60s. Building technology's moved on. And it's about time that these councils, who are very narrow-minded, you know, thought about it a bit more and, you know, it's just one of those things. Big massive shout out to all the usual crowd. 
And yeah, I saw the Blackpool videos. Blackpool is one of those councils that, you know, has, how can I put it, an odd sort of uh, vision that they were, that they're doing. They're going to be putting a DWP office, which is going to be um, um, put up. That's going to be a big building. That's going to be a tall building. And uh, I saw the pictures for it. It's going to be nice. But why can't they turn around and put ta put uh, new stylish tower blocks up? You know? What are they, you know? I think they say, well, I think they're doing it, doing it like that. It's because they, uh, you know, something to do with their precious bloody Blackpool Tower, but, you know... It's just one of those things. But there's only as I said, there's only so much land you can you can build on. And and people are talking about uh, energy problems and stuff like that. Well, I'm sorry folks, but that's that's the way it's gonna have to go. You know? And got a lot of fireworks going off in the background. The fair has decided to uh, stay here for a bit longer because the weather's been pretty nasty. It's been windy and everything. So, yeah. Well, I've got uh, Ideal World on at the moment. That should be good. That should be uh, switching to um, ITV soon. And, uh, yeah, for those who in, in, who've got relatives in U Ukraine, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. And, uh, yeah, and I just hope this government uh, pulls its finger out, its, out of its backside and, uh, you know, does something about Putin. And, uh, yeah... Well, I'm going to bugger off now and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep safe, everybody, because uh, things, thing, things, I think, are going to go from bad to worse in the situation. But what am I to, what am I to say about that? So I'm going to bugger off now and uh, keep safe, everybody, and... Uh, yeah, bye for now.